That guy lives on the tea diet. The reason why I'm really interested to do the taco tour is because here is the line of taco and the lady we met on the first day, she said there are a million tacos. I mean, maybe not a million, but there oh, are I believe many. It. I believe there's a million. And when it comes to diving deep into the culture, the food culture specifically of each location, there isn't a better way than going straight to the expert. Mexicans are good at tequila! Places like this where they open at 2 p.m., they close at 3 a.m. on a weekend, they're busy from the time they open till the time they close. These places are not going to make you sick. Uh, there's a high turnover, everything's really clean. When they're breaking down at the end of the day, there's a lot of soap involved in their cleanup. You're not going to be sick. Those are going to be good quality, good places. You guarantee it? Yeah, I guarantee it. Yes. All right. Sure. Remember his yeah. face, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from the all inclusive food. <laughs> Uh, symbolized uh, what a typical lady of 1920s Mexico looked like. She was also a common muse for Diego Rivera in a, in a lot of his murals. Ooh, probably not. <laughs> Jimmy got that for four bucks. He's so proud to use that thing. This place is really cool because it's off the tourist radar. It's only locals in here. And also, on these tacos, you still get the two tortillas. So most taquerias will give you two tortillas. They absorb the salsa. But here, you get one tortilla on the bottom and one on the top. It's like a sandwich. So it's uh. do with it. You do what you want. You can make two, or you can put the other tortilla on the bottom. Whatever. So they have the campuchano here. I want mix. Uh, just give me a campechano because you Also, that's me campechana. Yeah, campechana. Exactly. The crunch. They were pretty. I've never had that before. Yeah. Like, they wouldn't let me in the tail out because it's too It's not even the corn tortilla that's crunchy, like but it's got such a crunch to it. It's yeah. so good. But they yeah. Too much flour. This is like a mix with a crunchy pork. Oh, it's so good. And I'm coming to the point that I mix the salsa and everything with the beef, with the meat, that stuff inside. And I just eat it like a salad. Yeah. Like meat, beef salad. Oh my god. I think like everything on it. See, something's wrong. I didn't hear it. you want to look for when you're trying to find a quality tequila is that it says 100 made from 100 percent blue agave mm -hmm. it says if it says made from blue agave that means it's going to be 49 percent fillers and sugars and mm -hmm. yeah so here that's the other thing everyone sips it so we're going to get tequila with uh sangrita and a sangrita is a proprietary drink every place will make their own but it's a base of orange juice tomato juice mm -hmm. some chilies and other seasonings and between your sips of tequila have the sang a sip of sangrita in the palate what is that for? So you can play your dominoes or cards and keep your drink out of the way. Like the pig that they had for those pulled pork tacos, 
where like they slow roast it for like 14 hours and they put it underground with leaves on top of it and it adds flavor to it. Well, and it's, it's really unique, let me explain, like it's like, really good. Let me explain how awesome it is, like how soft it is. Jimmy said it's like 14 hours? Yeah, it's slow roasted pig for 14 hours. So basically at first when I taste it, I thought it's a fish taco. It's as soft as it's fish. fish. For me. Which is very, very hard to do for pork. <laughs> That's why I thought Jimmy, Jimmy is fish. Eventually, come to find out that that is not fish, that it's is not pork. pork. That was really, really good, but it's like really different. I've never had that where, <laughs> where you do the, um, like the tequila shot. You take a sip of tequila, and then it comes with this like, like kind of tomato, pepper, chili, chaser basically and now we're in Candace in Roma which is really well known for its art nouveau architecture and that's because Roma was developed before Condessa in the early mm. 1900s and that's when art nouveau was the dominant style but in architectural circles it's really well regarded for its unique architecture because on several of the buildings here you'll see di different architectural styles you'll see Moorish with tiles gothic all types of architecture all in one building which is really unique and that's because Diaz just wanted the best of Europe, of what Europe had. So a lot of these buildings have that. So we'll see examples of it coming up. Awesome. I always confuse with Roma with Condesa. Yeah. <laughs> This place is known for their craft beer and the scow. So I'm very interested to see what it is. And uh, we actually walked up to the counter and thought that they were handing us the scow, but it was a table arrangement with water and a flower in a shop. I thought it's a water. No. Yeah, it was water with a flower in it. So what is scout? I don't know. We have to find out. Okay, so we came outside to explain this to you guys because it's Inside, in, pretty it's intense. Like, I'm mind blown by this. Okay, so Moscow is made from the same plant that tequila is. Tequila can be made from multiple versions of this plant, where Moscow can only be made from very few versions of this plant. Okay, so Moscow is like so rare that they there's only certain farmers and certain types of mezcal that thrive in certain soils throughout the states of mexico so like one of them that we're trying is like age eight to ten years and it's 45 to 65 percent alcohol but the guy that made the mezcal only made 30 bottles so it's so hard there's no like big producers like Don Julio or anything like that for tequila like there is for Moscow. And it's really cool because there's a couple places in Condesa, like one place in particular that he told us about, where with every bottle, they actually have the picture of the farmer behind the bottle to show you the guy that made that bottle because it's so unique. <laughs> Thank you. 